Hi there, my friends across the Philippines. We're watching Invest 97W. It's out here near the Marshall Islands. Expect the pull towards an orphan impact Guam as we go in the early part of next week. Now you're looking at this and you're thinking, great. No worries for us out here towards the west is going to pull towards north. First of all, anytime we have a developing storm system, we always have to worry about, you know, the track changing. So let's definitely keep an eye on it. But even if the forecast holds that what we're seeing here pretty consistently with this pulling towards north, what we're likely going to see is that mid-level river of moisture. It's going to pull across the Philippines, specifically places like Palawan, through Visayas, Mindoro, uh, even over towards Manila area. And we could be seeing that enhanced Habaga. I know we're not technically in the southwest monsoon yet, but uh, it definitely is going to be churning on out here as we look ahead over the upcoming days. So let's take a look at kind of what, what we're seeing out here at this time. And uh, first and foremost, you know, we still have this area off here towards the north. That is actually the remnants of Cyclone Mocha impacting uh, Japan down towards the south. Of course, all of our convection down here south of Guam. You have those warm sea surface temperatures, good outflow aloft. It's just all the ingredients coming together for this to really start to wrap up. And that's why, you know, our friends out here in places like Chuuk seeing some messy weather today. And eventually this is all going to pull off there towards the north. If Guam is impacted based on currently what we're seeing, uh, probably going to be about Tuesday. All right. But the main topic, I have another update breaking down the details with Guam and Saipan. Check out Westpac weather here on YouTube. Uh, for more information on that. But the big thing is that as this pulls towards the north, let's look at the bigger picture. You have your Westpac eye here. Look at this moisture flow with the ITCZ. Follow it all the way back here to Mindanao. You have that river of moisture. Let's look ahead Tuesday into Wednesday. This rolls over the Mariana Islands. Still seeing said river of moisture all the way back, following it in. And then you even have that shear line setting up back towards the north. It's a one-two punch of a possible tropical development, or not tropical development, tropical moisture flow uh, coming in from the west. Of course, a tropical development with our storm system, but I'm more concerned if we're talking about the Philippines with that tail that's going to be developing off of this, causing that increase in rainfall. So definitely, you know, outside of the fact that this storm system is going to be pretty potent for our friends out here, uh, we are going to be looking at that secondary effect as we go ahead through the long range forecast. Of course, if you have any questions or anything, like that um, i always want to hear it friends i always want to try to get your feedback here as well if you like these updates hit that like and subscribe button too that's truly truly appreciate that it goes a long way uh, in keeping uh, these videos going all right also don't downplay the uh, threat of water here guys six inches can knock you off your feet so if you are in one of these areas that maybe you're not under a signal force warning because tropical systems nowhere near you uh, still could be looking at those heavy rainfall warnings specifically those red level warnings uh, that's you know 60 millimeters in less than an hour 30 millimeters excuse me less than two hours where i get 60 from um it's that's a lot big downpours causing flooding. So something we're going to be watching out for. Also, I think the big problem is going to be the persistency. Uh, also, big thanks for everybody on Patreon who continues to support this channel. Huge thanks for everybody there. Two, six, ten dollars a month goes a long way too uh, for keeping these updates going. Anyways, that's uh, pretty much all for today, guys. So we're just looking ahead. We can't really break down details in the extended forecast uh, because, you know, the long range ensembles, it's especially once we get, we don't have it like that defined low level center just yet. There still is questions as to what exactly we could be seeing out here. But uh, based on everything I see right now, this is kind of what we're the general outlook we're looking at through next week. Anyways, that's all for today. Yeah, if you have any questions or anything like that, let me know. And as always, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching.